football season just started, and I'm ready to check out some football-related projects. What do you mean, American football? I was searching high and low for this thing. I don't have a f American football. Goodbye, South Korea. See you later, Germany. Don't think you can get away that easy, Italy. Today, we're going to be talking about... American football, home of the free, land of the babes. Great American football is one of the most difficult sports to master. If you're like me, it comes naturally. There's a lot of people out there who put a lot of time and effort into practicing. Through all this time and effort, there's a lot of trauma to the skull, a lot of, a lot of pounding on the skull. A 2012 study found that death from Alzheimer's and ALS was four times higher in football players than in the general population. There's a fair few people out there who are concerned about the multi-million dollar football stars getting a bit of brain trauma. Uh, you know, they want to prevent it. They're, they're trying to figure it out. Maybe let's put some RFID chips in their helmets and see how, how, how they're banging each other. You know, you no know one's putting RFID chips in the boot of the crab fisherman saying, how can we improve the, the living rates of these people who die? Our first project tries to solve the problem of American football players smashing their heads into each other. It's called the bubble hat. My face when I'm only halfway done with my Big Daddy cosplay, but I'm very eager to show my friends on Facebook how cool it looks. So I take a sideways black and white mirror selfie to show my friends how cool it looks. Hello, my name is Shannon Irons. I'm the inventor of the bubble hat. I don't think it's the most aesthetically pleasing choice to film your new product or invention in a hotel room porn set. And with a name like Shannon Irons, I'm expecting his cock to be four feet long. I'm the inventor of the bubble hat uh, system to protect football players' heads. Right now, it's uh, upside down to my right. This moron has a Yahoo email address. What an idiot. What kind of moron uses Yahoo? What is this, 2001? What, did the twin trade towers just go down or something? <laughs> so right now, it's a complete system. So you just put your arms through the... Uh, the straps, right here. Legally speaking, it's a very smart move that Shannon decided to have patent pending scrolling across the screen. Otherwise, people would be able to steal his invention. But now that it says patent pending in two different sizes, I'm certain that he's protected. Both sides. Put it on like normal. Normal, sh normal uh, shoulder football pads. Normal football shoulder pads. Kind of looks like what a school shooter would wear. I didn't do any research on this topic, however, I feel qualified enough because I don't have brain damage to speak on the subject. Originally, we had leather helmets, right? And uh, people were hitting less hard back in those days because, well, there'd be the fear that you would kill yourself if you hit too hard. And then we got plastic helmets, and they have a little bit more cushion on the inside, allowing people to hit harder. Uh, the year 2015, we get the bubble hat. Now people can hit even harder. If you keep ramping it up all the way to the point where someone has a mech suit, they're just gonna hit harder. If you repeatedly headbutt people all day long for your job, you're going to get brain damage. It's just the nature of your fucking job, your multi-million dollar job. Take the arms through the straps right here. Pull the straps tight. One. You know what, guys? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my own bubble hat. Hello everyone, my name is Leslie Steeles, and I'm the inventor of the bubble hat. Oh. As you look around the brain, there's a layer of fluid right here, right here, right here, right here. There's a good bit of science going on here. I'm not going to say that uh, it wouldn't work, because I, I think it would. Right here, right here, right here, right here. He's asking for $50,000, and there are no reward tiers except uh, $1 tier, which allows you to be updated on the project status. One, two, right here. And then that straps the... Uh... That face when you're not sure if Shannon Irons is disarming a bomb, or if he is using the leftover costumes from Mad Max Fury Road. Our next project is called Referee Ralph. It's a toy for big old man babies. Sports fans come in all ages, shapes, and sizes. Some of us support winners, and some of us, well, don't. You guys won't believe this. I haven't had this happen before, but as I'm watching the video and uh, thinking of good, hilarious jokes, they uploaded a different version of the video, which is now uh, a few minutes longer, and it's got more bullshit in it. So, the the Kickstarter gods are looking down on me. Go, baby, go! Woo! Yeah, baby! Touchdown! Go, 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 go,
that. Woo! Wow, it seems like everyone at that party is very receptive to your your toy. It seems like everyone really wants to pass around the toy and have it say things to them. Oh wait, no one gives a shit about it because fuck that cancer. Meet Referee Ralph, your ultimate game day companion. An app-enabled device designed by sports fans for sports fans. I could go on all night about which video is shittier, but I think uh, the main shitty aspect of this project is Referee Ralph himself. You can only make Referee Ralph look so good. It's uh, basically a glorified Furby for men over 30, and that should be their slogan. Def defensive pass interference. I haven't seen this many bad decisions on a grass field since Woodstock. Bad call right there. That was pass interference. Was that a call? All I heard was blah, blah, blah. A glorified Furby for men over 30. If you just put your newborn child to sleep, and you don't want to wake them with a really loud <laughs> Just press the button on your glorified Furby because you're a man over 30. Hey, do you remember this? What's that? Bears are who we thought they were. Now, if you want to crown them, then crown their ass. But they are who we thought they were. And we got them all for those of you with exceedingly brilliant minds, you're probably thinking Referee Ralph could be made into a single app and you don't need all this excess bullshit that costs around $85. You could just make an app that costs 99 cents and it says all the same bullshit. Bears, the, 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 that call was crazier than a wind blower and a wind, wind turbine on a corn snake and a corn cop in a cornfield. Last time I saw that, it was colder than a witch's tit. These calls are crazier than Woodstock on a Woodstock. Listen in on coach and player bloopers. Learn interesting sports facts and even open your game day beverage. Open your game day beverage. Open your game day beverage. It's got a bottle opener? It's got a fucking bottle opener. That's a bad call. Pass interference. That's a bullshit call. Hey, give us a blooper while we're waiting. Face mask. Here's an infographic showing you all the cool features of Referee Ralph, including his bottle opener. They made sure to put all the hilarious audio files on here, so, you know, really, if I want to, I could just open it on my phone and- Can't call penalties right! <coughs> wow, those were really good. I do have to hand it to the Ralph boys for making such a an extremely excessive Kickstarter project. The amount of info and infographics and pictures and picturettes on this Kickstarter is pretty fucking unbelievable. It just keeps going. It just keeps going with the amount of pictures of prototypes, the frequency of the Bluetooth, you name it, it's here. That is going to do it for this episode of Kickstarter Crap, American Football Edition. Remember to hit that like and hit the field goal because we're going to score a home run here in a couple innings. Our blood pressure is controlled by the game day officiating. I like the red beer bottle. Well, where can I get one of them red beers? Is that a Red's Apple Orchard Ale? Where do you purchase them? Do you purchase them on YouTube or do you purchase them on Twitter? Or is that a Angry Orchard Ale? Can I get an Angry Mike's Orchard Ale? I like it because it doesn't taste like alcohol. Mike and Red's Red a Apple Angry Apricot Orchard Ale. Cinnamon Toast Ken, the alcoholic beverage. I like it because it doesn't taste like alcohol. Master. Pisces never really tried to So stop me when it gone right to Never trying to ever stop me now